Item number SCP-1846 Object Class Euclid Escogri Special Containment Procedures SCP-1846 is to be kept in a Type 3 Humanoid Set Camera SCP-1846 is to be kept in a Type 3 Humanoid Containment Cell at Site 17 SCP-1846's cell shares a wall with the exterior of the facility Sensors on the outside of the facility are to measure variations in wind speed at points directly exterior to SCP-1846 cell. Values between 60 and 80 km per hour are normal. Readings outside of this range are to be reported to the site director and SCP-1846. Effective containment of SCP-1846 is only possible when it is surrounded by reinforced glass, concrete, or any structural material formed from granular materials such as sand and gravel. This is a non-issue while SCP-1846 is at Site-17. However, SCP-1846 may not leave Site-17 unless it is surrounded entirely by reinforced glass or concrete. SCP-1846 may only be given food composed entirely of maize and maize products. Should SCP-1846 fail to cooperate with Foundation personnel, it is to be fed corn syrup. Otherwise, it is to be fed whole ears of maize. Description SCP-1846 resembles a Caucasian human male, approximately 50 years of age. However, SCP-1846's exterior is covered entirely in living maize leaves that grow from its subdermal layer. These leaves do not undergo photosynthesis, consume nutrients, or serve any obvious purposes. It is assumed that they are purely ornamental. The subject is capable of subsiding on a diet composed entirely of maize, and will experience symptoms of malnutrition if it is fed a diet composed of any other foods. Any plant of the species they are maize that come into contact with SCP-1846 will produce abnormally nutritious ears compared to test plants and live approximately four times as long. SCP-1846 does not have control over this effect. This does not have an adverse effect on the soil in which the maize is grown. When SCP-1846 is surrounded by any material not formed from Granular materials, an unidentified force will invariably cause catastrophic damage to said material, apparently in order to clear a path between the sky and SCP-1846. Should such a path exist, this force will attempt to abduct SCP-1846. However, SCP-1846 is capable of resisting this force to a limited degree, typically being forced upwards at 0.5 meters per second. Surrounding SCP-1846 with glass or concrete results in a downdrift between 60 and 80 kilometers per hour centered on the subject. While this can cause damage to the subject's surroundings, it is not sufficient to breach SCP-1846's containment. SCP-1846 has not displayed any aggressive tendencies and is generally cooperative with Foundation personnel. Addendum. All evidence indicates that prior to BEEP, SCP-1846 was physically indistinguishable from a human being and did not display anomalous properties beyond its dietary needs and effect on maize. The only existing records of SCP-1846 are of its employment at a lobbying firm redacted under the name Clint Horton. Current and former employees reported little unusual behavior from SCP-1846. Although none are knowledgeable about the subject's activities outside of working hours, SCP-1846's other properties manifested on BEEP during a business meeting with U.S. Senator Redacted at a latter's private residence. The Senator called local authorities after SCP-1846 spontaneously developed its covering of maize leaves, after which significant damage was inflicted upon the Senator's residence. SCP-1846 was able to take shelter in the home's far out shelter until the arrival of the Foundation. Excerpt from Interview Log 1846-2 Really, the gist of it is that I'm an angel. Not for any god that people still worship, though. And obviously not the type where it is just a person with wings. 
Huh, which god then? He calls himself Skrnabotov. That's S-R-Q-N-A-B-O-T-F. Capital S. I think the last group to worship him died a bit after the Spanish came over. He's a corn god, and, well, he is the god. I don't think there are any others. I see, and may I assume that your properties are a result of working for a corn deity. You may. Working for a corn god makes me a corn angel, of course. My job, see, was to lobby for higher subsidies to corn farmers. Chose the job myself. It's what sustains him, you know? Corn being grown and used. I suppose that makes sense. Are there any more of you? Well, there were. See, what happened to me happened to all of them, too. They were all out in fields, screwing the corn or whatever it is they do when it happened. They got sucked into the sky straight away. Maybe there was something about it in the news. When you say it, I assume you refer to your development of several other properties. Could I explain why that happened? How do I explain this to you? It's like the rapture. Skandabatov decided that he's going to end things as soon as he can get all of his angels off Earth. So he made us refer to our true forms, capitalized true and forms, and dragged most of us up. Odds are he's just waiting on me and maybe some other lucky soul. Then things are going to happen. I get a feeling it would be more suitable to explore the scenario in the next interview. For now, though, could you explain why you were protected? Sure, well, Skonobotov has all the powers of a god, of course, but he doesn't have the king's sense of time and doesn't quite understand how it is that humans can make things. I don't quite see the connection. When he sees wood or stone or metal getting in the way of trying to drag me upstairs, he knows that he needs to rip it right away, since those are strong, but when he sees the concrete or glass, he thinks it's gravel or sand, so he blows on it to get it out of the way, and I don't think he's realized that's not working yet. Seriously. Don't get me started. Really, he knows less about the world than any human kid, and somehow he's the one who has dominion. Mind if I give you a tip? Go ahead. Buy lots of corn, eat lots of corn, invest in corn. And I'm not saying that because it's my job, your lot into afterlife is really just a function of how much corn you grow and make use of it. Which is kind of bull crap when you think about it, because that means that everyone who lived in your Asia before the Colombian exchange is currently having their arteries torn apart by popcorn kernel const. Uh, I get the picture. Uh, sorry. SCP-1846 claims have not been verified and may be unverifiable. Personnel are reminded to exercise skepticism when reviewing SCP-1846's claims.